You know how it is when sometimes you have one of those eureka moments and you think to yourself, now why didn't I think of that or why did I not notice that before? And about, oh I guess 15 minutes ago now, I had a bit of a eureka moment, you might say. And and I'll, I'll, I'll bring you in a little closer here and then show you what I'm talking about. And like I said, I don't know why I didn't notice that before. Okay, so here's what's happened. I've been gluing our, our railing on here. And you're probably thinking, you're only that far? Well, yeah. So, when I'm trying to lay the, the pin on the top rail, just in the right place, you know, and ha having it at the right angle up or down so that it doesn't s slide on the top rail and pull the rail either in or out, I inadvertently laid the stick part of it on top of the rail. And I suddenly realized, my goodness, that works a lot better. Yeah, the, the pin has actually now just a little handle here. But, but what will happen is the, the, it will not, because the stick is rough, the rail, the top rail kind of digs into all the little, you might call it pores or burrs or whatever that are on that wood, and, it, and the rail does not slide in or out like it does on the pin. Not only that, but the being as the stick is flat, it pushes more evenly along the rail and there's less chance of it bending it down like the pin does. Now, now I don't know why I didn't recognize that before. Anyway, I'm just going to continue on here. I was thinking earlier too, I'm going to probably have to take the number 22 and the tiny brush and go along and get rid of this uh, glinting where the CA glue is going. Uh, in, in one way this is going better than I thought it would, and, but it is actually going a lot slower. I thought I'd be, you know, on the stern of the ship already by now. Okay, I was uh, just starting on the second rail here now finally. And this new system with our holder downer is working really well. But you know, um, I can reposition it later. Let's just sort of take it off here very carefully. Maybe I should get it out of the way altogether very carefully. Okay. Now, what I'm thinking is, as much as I like the looks of the guns in position on the deck, I'm really not needing them now until, you know, until we go to put the ship in its case. They can be dropped on later. And there are things that the, the uh, cords, like the cord that comes down from the camera and light cords and, and stuff like that, could very easily catch on something, especially these very, very delicate little antennas or whatever they are. Or somebody was thinking that they might be sort of, sort of something used for line of sight. Um, I don't know. Maybe it sort of makes sense in a way. Uh, but, but why would you have something like that when you've got these, right? Uh, <clears throat> unless these were knocked out of commission. Maybe maybe that's the idea. And at close range, yeah, that's all you need to do. Just sort of eyeball it. And, and I mean, how can you miss a, an enemy ship that's only maybe a mile away or something like that? Um, so I, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these off and put them in a safe place. They are just sitting in there. This one's a little bit tight. There we go. Okay, we have paged back to uh, step 77, where we were doing this front, this railing on the bow here. And you probably notice it's exactly the same way as it was, what, three hours ago when I did, shot the last scene? Well, right after I shot that last scene, my neighbor came back with the groceries. Friday is grocery pickup day. And uh, so I had that to contend with. And then once I get go got going on that, I ended up doing some, some canning and some bagging for the freezer and uh, 
<laughs> one one nice thing about it when I do canning and stuff like that and I have to do a lot of wash ups in the sink, I end up getting my fingernails nice and clean, so they're gonna be good to go for well, a couple hours anyway. However, I thought I'd better check here because there is going to be uh, companion ways or ladders going up the sides of the ship. And I thought, where exactly do they go up? And I'm, I'm looking along the side here, but I don't think we need to worry about it until we get to, you might say, a midship. Uh, that's where the, the ladder is. So I can just continue on with this railing right up until it gets to the corner here. Um, yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna have time to do any more on camera or not. It's you know you know what have we got here? Uh, 14, 13 and a half minutes to two already. Um, thinking out loud here again. Well, we'll see what happens. Now, what kind of episode would it be if we didn't get the macro lens going at least once here? Oh, where's the holder down right here? Just sort of. I wonder, maybe I should just pull this together just a little bit. There. All right. Oh, for heaven's sakes. Oh, no, I, I wasn't nearly as upset as I, I pretended I was there. You know, if the, if the camera wasn't on record, I probably would have just chuckled a little bit. It was all an act. I was, I, I had wanted to do that, right? Okay, let's try this again. Now for goodness sakes, Ron, watch what you're doing. Okay, now does it look like those two rails are, are butted up together pretty flush? I, yeah, I think so. Okay. Yeah, when I was coming in with the applicator, you couldn't see it, but I banged the end of the pin that was sticking out of the end of the... Okay, just get a little bit on there. Okay, let's let that cure now. Okay, I'm thinking that probably about uh, 10 minutes or so has passed now and I'm hoping that this glue has cured. I am not using the curing agent because I don't want it running down the side of the ship and staining it worse than it probably already is. Speaking of the side of the ship, you'll notice there's a shadow from my finger here. Well, I had thought I was improving things by bringing a light in from the side so that the side of the ship would show up. And um, that is back when I had the macro lens on. And then after I had shot that last scene where I was putting the glue on, I looked in my monitor and I realized that this wood here was so bright that it was uh, throwing the automatic uh, ISO for a loop. I should have had everything set manually instead of just the shutter and aperture. And um, anyway, yeah, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to fix that in post or not so that the detail in the dark area can come out. There is a certain amount of photoshopping I can do in video, but not as much as in if you were to do a photograph. Um, but I'll do the best I can. Uh, well, you will have seen it. You know, you will have seen whatever happened. So now, let's let's just take this off and s see what happens. Okay, I think we can probably go down just a little bit here now. 
Okay. There is a there is a bit of a a crack you might say where the gunnel here or the hull meets the deck and uh, and the lower the bottom rail just sort of wants to fall in that crack and it makes it actually pretty easy I think it's works out really good even though I, I know that the rail is probably supposed to be mounted on the top of the gunnel here okay um, I'm going to call it quits for today, folks, even though this video is, is very short. Um, um, I, I know there's no use me saying I don't know if I'm going to come back later this evening or not. Um, I think I will right now. I'm all gung-ho to, to keep on going here. And uh, now, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, you know what happens. Well, today is Friday, so uh, one of my neighbors is going to be coming over for coffee in about... Uh, uh, an hour and 25 minutes from now. So I, I want to get this upload going and as I've mentioned because the the uh, video file is four times as more concentrated or bigger uh, than normal I, I want to give myself lots of time here. I think it's going to work out okay. Uh, I've already done a test and it, 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 did, it did seem to work okay. Now don't go poking at it. You got it just right. You don't need to poke at it. Okay, thanks for watching everybody. And all being well, we'll see you tomorrow.